In this video, I'm looking at the ESI Cosmic Ucast Digital USB Microphone. Let's get it. What's cracking audio fans? It's David here from Prime Audio Reviews. Something again a little bit different today. This is the Cosmic Ucast from ESI. This is a cardioid microphone and it's kind of been marketed towards podcasters, live streamers, and things like that. It is a digital only microphone, meaning there's no XLR output, it's only USB. And um, But you can do pretty much anything with it. I've actually made several videos using it recently and um, yeah, been happy with it overall. But we're going to dig in, have a little bit of a closer look at it. So here's the box. Uh, yeah, yeah, you don't need to really see that too much. I'll show you what comes inside though First of all you get the mic which we'll have a closer look at in a moment You also get a metal table tripod with a microphone holder That ain't right. That's right with the microphone holder, which is also metal that part screws on just like that in addition to those things, you get two USB cables, you get a regular USB and a USB type C. Not only do you get those physical things, but you get some nice bundled software as well. You get the Wavelab LE, you get Cubasis LE3, you get the Audified, Audified uh, Intone 2 ESI edition, and you get Bitwig, Bitwig Studio 8-Track. So right out of the box, you got almost everything you need to get going, uh, except for some strange reason, there's no included pop filter, which I find really strange because the microphone here is quite subject to suffering from plosives if you are too close or you don't have it positioned properly so that's something you really got to be aware of I, I really wish they had just included one in the box I actually bought this one online it was very cheap it was only a couple of dollars but you know I would love to see something like that come in the box just so you're a bit better prepared to get going right out of the gate but let's uh, get on to the actual microphone now and uh, look as soon as I picked it up out of the box I was very surprised and quite impressed because man this thing has got some heft to it this is an all metal build there's no plastic anywhere even the knobs and the mute button here on the front all metal so it just feels wonderful and of course it's got that uh, signature ESI orange hue to it which just looks beautiful as well but let's have a look at what we got on the front first of all there is a mute switch or a mute button which is very handy for obvious reasons then you've got an input gain nice metal knob there one thing I don't like about the design is there are no markers around the knobs here which is why I've got this little yellow bit of UTAC stuck on there just so I know where my level is each time I use it but yeah that's a little bit frustrating easier to work around but it would be nice if they had some basic markers around there so you got your microphone input gain there and here is the output volume for your headphones because on the bottom here you've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone out so you can monitor your audio which is very useful and here is the type C USB output here for your digital output and that's basically the build of the mic it, uh, it's a cardioid microphone and it is just beautiful to look at however it was pretty frustrating um, getting it set up initially because I didn't have a pot filter once I got that it was a lot easier so that's really all there is to say in terms of the physical build. It's beautifully built. It feels really nice. It's hefty. You can tell it's a quality product. Considering the price, which I haven't mentioned yet, the price is around 123 US dollars or 109 euros. I wasn't able to find it on, on the major selling platforms like Amazon and AliExpress, etc. But there are many, many uh, international distributors placed around. So you'll just have to check online to see if there's one that uh, works for you. 
Right, so let's talk about the sound, and I'm probably going to stumble over this part a bit because I don't have a lot of experience like I do with IEMs and headphones. I haven't tested a lot of microphones, but I can tell you, compared to what I was using prior to this, which was primarily lav mics, the lavalier mics, uh, this sounds really, really good. Uh, I like the tone and the clarity and the detail that I hear in my voice using this cardioid microphone. It is a sensitive device, so the gain adjustment here is very handy. Well, it's a, necess a necessity, in fact. As I mentioned, you don't get the pop filter out of the box, so that's something you really have to pay attention to. You either have to set it up so it's not um, directly in the line of your mouth and when that air comes out. And another thing that I noticed, using the included tripod here, it just sits in there like that. So real beautiful build quality all around. Yeah, so when you're using the tripod, table tripod like this, I noticed that every time I put my hands on the table or bump the table, I was sort of hearing those thumpy noises coming through. That's because the microphone is quite sensitive. It's probably due uh, in a lot of ways to user error. I'm, I kind of suck at my job, so I'm, I'm, I'm not particularly a, a microphone expert. But I found that moving the microphone closer to my mouth and, and turning the input gain down alleviated that thumping noise significantly. But ultimately, I think a boom, a boom arm and a shock mount would be the best way to go for this one. But it really depends on how you're going to use it. Like a lot of people have no reason to touch the desk or bump the desk when they're using it. They're just gonna set it up and they are good to go. Overall though, I'm very pleased with the sound. I think it sounds fantastic. So anyway, let's have a quick sound demo. I will show you what the mic sounds like in use here. At around 10,800 BC, the climate of Europe did indeed take a sharp dive back to the most severe of Ice Age conditions. This decimated the horse herds that had wintered in the valleys of Central Europe and which had sustained large groups of hunter-gatherers. Rather than simply being temporarily deserted for the summer season, Gonnersdorf was abandoned for good. Another cool feature of this microphone is the something that comes with the drivers, which are available for Windows only, I'm afraid, but come you get this thing called direct wire. And direct wire, I'm not going to dive too deep into it, but basically it means that you can have real-time effects or sound processing when you're podcasting or live streaming. And that's a really handy feature to have. So if you want to put some reverb on your voice or some effects, you want to have some uh, backtrack, you know, canned laughter or something like that, you can do that easily with the direct wire functionality. Okay, guys, so that is the ESI Cosmic Ucast microphone. Look, for the price, I think you're getting a really, really good microphone. There's just a couple of extra steps you need to take, in my opinion, out of the box to get the best out of it. You definitely need some type of pop filter and I think uh, you got to be just be keep in mind that if you bump the table you might hear that coming through so a boom arm might be advised just depends how you're going to use it but I think this is a really nice microphone good value for money especially when you consider that extra software bundle that that comes bundled with it some really good stuff there so uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up. Do I recommend this? Absolutely. I think if you're a podcaster, live streamer, content creator, even musicians and uh, singers would get good use out of this microphone. So that is it, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, Parfum audio file style. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more reviews like this in the future, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, see you later.